fake news. Welcome to today's headlines. Like him or not, Simon Ekpa deeply rooted, now in charge of Biafran struggle, Carlos Pigs. Like him or not, Simon Ekpa deeply rooted, now in charge of Biafran struggle, Carlos Pigs. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The truth is whether you like Simon Ekwal or not, my post yesterday was wrong and it will be stupid of me not to come out openly and render an apology. As a professional, we shouldn't allow our ego and pride to prevent us from doing the right thing. My source in German who called me yesterday to say his brother in Finland gave him the information deceived me. That is, one of the hazards of our profession. You are not and cannot be everywhere at a time. 95% of info is from third party. I even delayed posting until I started seeing links carrying the same story. I was like, okay, let me post it. Let me post, it will force Equal out to step out and verify. I know my post was the most damaging sword because as you can see, Simon Equal ignored all other sources as the usual noise and picked on me. It's understandable. But one thing is clear in all this. Equal is on the ground, is on ground. He is in fact far more rooted into the Biafran struggle than most people thought. He has taken control of the system, ignore him, at your risk. The amount of posts, messages and attacks I have received I never expected. He has strong and active soldiers. Those who said, those who said the last seat at home field allowing the system was disturbed. If Ekpa said there is going to be seat autumn during the presidential election, please take him serious and if you want the election to hold, find a way to reach him. Staying here and abusing him? And wishing one thing or the other against him is to, is to dwell on fool's paradise. Yes, I am against sit at home. But you cannot just close your eyes to reason and pretend that there is no justification towards the anger these young boys are expressing. The bad leadership we had over the years gave birth to this struggle. I deserve all the names tagged by these angry boys. For and I, criminal, sabo, etc. I posted wrong info about their leader. I beg, umu ne make una, unu agba hara iwe na we, uwa ne, no de touch bone. I tried reaching Simon on WhatsApp last night, and after my long sermon and asking for pardon, he dismissed me with, 
you are an idiot well I'll, like I told him, I understand his anger towards me and he has every right to be. But as the day don't break, he should have deeper reflection. I have no moral ground to claim Marco or argue anything because what I posted was the wrong information. And the only rightful thing expected of me as a professional is to drop my pride and drop this apology. The truth is, whether you like Simon Ekwal or not, my post yesterday was wrong and it will be stupid of me not to come out openly and render an apology. As a professional, we shouldn't allow our ego and pride to prevent us from doing the right thing. My source in German who called me yesterday to say his brother in Finland gave him the information deceived me. That is one of the hazards of our profession. You are not and cannot be everywhere at a time. 95% of you is from third party. I even delayed posting until I started seeing links carrying the same story. I was like, okay, let me post. It will force Equal out to step out and verify. I know my post was the most damaging sword because as you can see Simon Ekwal ignored all other sources as the usual noise and picked on me. It is understandable. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.